Hi guys, it's Adrian from the ADNA team and today I'm going to show you how you can easily implement your own API key from different provider inside ADNAI. So what is an API key? An API key is a token that will help us to identify you whenever you use our services. In this video, I will show you how you can do it and also how you can create multiple API key on our platform. So let's dive into it. So the first thing we're going to need to do is to go to the ATDI platform, here am I, and I'm going to go to the API settings section. Here I have my panel, I have multiple choice. I can select the region I want my data to be saved. I can save my request if I want to keep an history and I can enable a uh, cache. Uh, so my uh, request will be uh, much faster. Uh, it will be easier for me to uh, make API call. I can also go to bring your own account section and after a few seconds I will be able sorry we will be able to add an API key uh, to all my different the different providers there are in uh, NNAI. For example I have my uh, OpenAI uh, API key so here I can uh, upload if I have an API key here, uh, copy and paste it here to make uh, to keep the uh, charge on OpenAI. Uh, but I will use the OpenAI, uh, the NNAI service for a different um, feature. For example, I want to make uh, custom um, speech uh, to text. For example, uh, OpenAI give us uh, the possibility to do to do it. I can just use NNAI services to make the process much more easier than using OpenAI. I can do it, just copy and paste the API key here. But I have also, oh, yeah, and I have also all the different, uh, all the different uh, services here. I will just do it because I didn't add anything. I will just go back here and to further settings section. And here I can also create new API key uh, to create, for example, a uh, different API key uh, to be used in uh, develop, uh, uh, development uh, section. For example, I want to um, use um, the different services, but I don't want to be uh, like uh, I have a team that uh, developing my new application, but I don't want them to use a much more grid than the necessary need so I can add a sold to it uh, for example I can just give it $20 add an expiration date for example if the um, development should be ended at the end of the month I could just cut it and after that if the IPA key is uh, leaked uh, by uh, some reason it won't work and uh, I can copy it for production or sandbox. Sandbox is just for testing, so it will return dummy a response. Uh, we just format the response well, but that's it. Uh, so here I can create a multiple API key. So that will be the end of the video. If you have any question uh, regarding this video or any um, demands uh, on of tutorials, feel free to add them in the comment section.